good wishes to all of you ikigai japanese art of staying young while growing old this book was gifted for me from navya akka she is one of my great friend thank you for this book navya akka ikigai japanese art of staying young while growing old what is ikigai ikigai is the art of living life in a way that a person is always inspired to remain focused on their goal the meaning of ikigai is to make your life meaningful the people who use the principles of ikigai always wake up in the morning with a sense of meaning this is the reason why despite having been destroyed in the second world war japan did not only develop but also became a nation of longevity how was all this possible this was only possible by adopting the principles of ikigai this book will not only provide you with theoretical ideas but also have to lead the ikigai life with practical examples it is then that you will know what this japanese way of living actually is how the people of the that country achieve their goals how they scale great heights in society and achieve a high social standing what do they eat that they are able to live a long and fruitful life this book will help you live a successful life meaningful long life and achieve new heights of success every day and you will enjoy it thank you so much navya ka for this wonderful book she gifted it for my birthday and she thought i will be live very healthy and stay strong thank you so much once again navya ka and thank you all heartful thanks to you all also preface ikigai the japanese art of living just as the whole world is influenced by the personality of a single person in the same way there are very few countries which have influenced other countries of the world there are very few countries which are eminent for their lifestyle at the present moment i would like to set one's heart on a country about which it is said that its people live the longest lives that country is japan the japanese life live longer lives remain active longer live a social life and subsidize the development of their nation currently people want to know how this was possible and what to learn about want to learn about how the japanese live this is even even though japan was badly hit during the second world war millions of people lost their lives lost their lives many countries had enforced bans so much so people in japan had begun starving to death even then japan rose to become one of the asia's biggest political and economic power how was this possible this was made possible by the japanese lifestyle now you may think about what the japanese lifestyle is i would like to elucidate the elucidate in the forthcoming chapters and the name of this art of japanese living is ikigai the people of japan follow this way of living to make their lives contented and everlasting the meaning of ikigai is what is the meaning of life the principles of ikigai help people to look for the intent of their life when you find your ikigai that is a meaning or aim of your life then you can lead a great life this book will not only provide you with theoretical ideas but also how to lead the ikigai life with practical examples it is then that you will know what this japanese way of living actually is how the people of that country attain their goals how they scale great heights in society and achieve a high social standing what do they eat that they are able to live a long and fruitful life this book will help you live a successful life and achieve new heights of success every day and you will enjoy it what is ikigai ikigai is the art of living life in a way that a person is always inspired to remain focused on their goal the meaning of ikigai is to make your life meaningful um it's my own words per suppose we are preparing for upsc or other aspects of exams as well so we have to focus on our goal uh, we can 
convert this book for our preparation i hope you think so the people who use the principles of ikigai always wake up in the morning with a sense of meaning this is why despite having been destroyed in the second world war japan did not only developed but also became a nation of longevity how was all this possible this was only possible by adopting the principles of ikigai if you would like to live a good and meaningful long life then this book will help you okay it contains with uh, eight chapters we can make eight videos on this book also and the contents was the aptitude of staying young the unreal tale of staying young ikigai from logotherapy the hunt for the motion longevity masters ikigai food culture rhythmic exercises anxiety and tensity okay now we are stopping into our chapter 1 the aptitude of staying young we possess an entrancing and artful entity if you once grasp the principle of ikigai that we embrace in our lives then one can have an enduring and treasured life you may look back that 24% of our natives persist for about 100 years of their age how do we manage to bloom up initially if i stayed following the path of ikigai we perceive the rational of our existence then we move to we move on to the notions of ikigai in our food intake the standard of living toil and culture let's explore what we the japanese do to wear our as well motive of life in this world individuals find delight in their life based on their self contemplation everyone is in a race competing against each other and going head to head their only motive in life is to know knock down everyone else in the concrete scenario people sweep aside almost everything they even show a cold shoulder shoulder to their family everyone is self occupied but there is a lack of tranquility of or euphoria in their lives one can even interrogate what you aspire to what is your intent of living frequently one would get feedback like how do you define aspiration my motive in life is only to earn a living to be able to feed myself to acquire a livelihood and to relish life before its departure if one catches people far and wide the same answer is reciprocated from almost 90% of the lot thereupon i put forward my case as should this and only this be the basis of our life should we move round the clock killing our life for just earning money at what we the japanese keep intent for our anticipated life to accomplish that we steady in switch over our conduct and conventions as per our goals most people are goal oriented conforming to their conduct of life and this result to be one of the misapprehensions we don't amp up because it is some up it is sun up time instead we wake up to progress and accomplish our goals abdication has no approach declining years of life remind us about abdication after it most people kick their heels at home and sink in living their monotonous everyday routine routine most people perceive that life would be drudging after abdication and it would be difficult to fritter away time if you also reflect the same recast it because we the japanese don't let ourselves to grow weary when we reach a set time is we born out new intents if you rat- ratify this concept you too will be alluring if you are fading try your hand at something new in your life and placing goal provides contentment Japanese people are always goal oriented this makes our living and suffering ameliorate wherefore we are cheerful in 
accelerate others too. This way, we stay young and have gratification and merriment. The legitimate imprinting from this context is that a human life should be goal oriented. And second thing, absolute meaning of our entity. What does life stand for? How do we characterize ambitions, wholeness, and gratification in life? Can we grab the ultimate significance of anything? The silent majority have been paused to ponder over these important questions. When they remind about why their links have broken, why they feel impassive even though they conquered everything for which they embarked on, Japanese are always working towards making life worthwhile. That being the case, tenderness always shines on our faces. Manifestation of being youthful. Many people feel like old persons even though they are young. But we don't look a day over even when we are grey hair as we like an industrious and diligent life inspired by our goals. This makes Japan shine brightest. And fourth thing, engage in your ambition. One and all have some evocation in one's life. It is a way to merriment. It helps to avoid boredom from our flustering and buzzing schedule. In this gigantic world, everyone has their own nature and bent. Their hobby, horse, and pursuits vary. At the hand of this, while some people prefer candy coated things, others prefer to eat stories. Since there is no word for abdication in the dictionary of Japanese, we choose to keep on doing our favorite work, and our ecstatic state helps us to outlive. Food culture. Living lifestyle and focus. We, the Japanese, are eminent to be fitness freak and we are prominent because of our lifestyle. Our fitness is the skeleton in the closest which almost the world at large wants to perceive. Everyone knows that we are diet conscious and fitness fantastic because of our wholesome intake. We stay in fine fatal of for a prolonged time. We stay vibrant because we expose the path of ikigai bread and water intake conventionally we consume thrice a day nonetheless our eating time is deficient as we prefer to make room for our work substantially we hardly bite for our breakfast as we are con- conscious about our work customarily our idle munch commences at 12 both the major and minor munch Keep a thread for an hour. For the most part, we are a climb galloping. Chinese folks are put into use of eating. Generally, Japanese food is very light. And two, ethic of drinking tea. Japan is re-owned, renowned for one of its favorite beverages, tea. Here, different types of tea are consumed every now and then. Japan brings forth over and above 100 types of tea. Commoner cherry pea green tea, our ours is strongly preferable to Indian tea because we don't add sugar and milk to our tea. Even in the state of co morbidity, tea is put into service as a cure. The approach of producing and consuming each tea varies. In addition, there are approx 28 families of green tea which are consumed here. Specific kind of tea friends of any north in the way of bone, hair, and skin. Their vita tea is filthy rich in antioxidants, so it keeps the body bushy tail, which endures us to execute work even when fatigued. And three, storling. The Japanese like to ramble em- eminently. This is a cornerstone of our lifestyle. However, there is an abundance of things in Japan owing to innovations. Though we prefer to jaunt in public transport in lieu of our private ones. On the grounds, we presume, presume that by this means, we keep ourselves hale and hearty. As we have to travel meters by foot before boarding train or bus, occasionally we have to stand while traveling. 
this makes digestion nimble and the body weight also dwindles and fourth thing sanitation in japan we hear tidiness ergo japan is among one of the sanitized countries when we pay call to other countries we keep an eye on cleanliness there also we have credence that sanitation shields everyone from diseases and helps maintain tranquility in mind therefore one can be sheltered from minor diseases effortlessly by simply following hygienic and fifth thing living perky life sometimes in our life things don't happen as we aspire part of our dreams and wishes remain disillusioned at this juncture we have to apprehend that everything cannot happen according to our wishes in the world set time things are out of the question and there is no point in brooding over such un unrestrained things in lieu of abandoning life it is better to live life cheerfully we stay young because we don't live a rigid life and sixth main important thing gentle workout it is a certain in our studies that gentle workouts that is exercises keep natural killer cells mobile while long lasting arduous and strenuous exercises subside our competency these replacements apparently correspondingly on hormones responsible for tension and antibody cells as well thus we consume light food and perform gentle exercises seventh thing on the ground job the japanese prefer to toil on their plug line this way we remain just full and in fine fettle eighth thing bare bones consuming a high ball glass of aqua with a results in 178 calories this responds to eating two chocolate biscuits to ablaze these calories you ought to hoof for half an hour when you are a dipsomaniac or gobel a lot your weight escalates food has some nutrients but there are no nutrients in alcohol the japanese barely supper boasts thereupon we don't have plumpness ninth thing less eating keep keeps us juvenile the directive of japanese life is to eat lesser food just to fill our half stomach partaking much food requires vitality to ablaze the calories which we have consumed which lessen our age to partake less food it is served on smaller plates in essential one should not consume food snacks or any other edibles we consume lots of green vegetables i bad in bounded found the cue to a victorious life to be trump sorry uh, to the cue to a victorious life to be trumpant in any of the chores and one should be a fitness freak owing to this victory cannot be garnered if one is unfeedable and feebled when one is able boiled when one is able bodied his mind austerness and diligence towards his work are always exemplary in that case he can be victorious we the japanese know that there is a pool of bounded life resources in our country so we have surrendered to dwell while harassing snippets of things this occurs them to appear under this putting one self out for someone this is the first thing assisting one another is quite admirable we cannot stress enough the positive aspects of kindness we should all try to become a person whom people will remember in a time of need we believe that assisting each other is also to also a form of ikigai helping each other is a light to our culture in consequence feeling also people endure longer second thing allocation of hours investing your time contemplates your well-being Allocate, allocation of time and itself preordained boosts up to wind down we should 
I suppose the work of work of working that unveils direct changes in how we use our time. The main rule of time management is to put your time in into the important work or those works which are helpful to get your goal. The Japanese do their time management very well, so their life is happy and they remain young. Effectivity with one's entity. There is no viable layout layout for alliances. Despite the trials, it is unfeasible to elaborate on any kind of types. It doesn't reflect that things are intertwined. The definition of relation is one that can't be understood. But the reality is that relationships are the big scale of life success which can't be expressed in words. Some bonds are responsible for remodeling in one's life. Nevertheless, there are few we may repent of being attached to. The smidge of any such bond seems enduring. The secret of our felicity is the affectivity with life. Bubbly demano is the first thing. The salient step to an Yenonian life is to say goodbye to any animosity. According to Ikigai, one should be convivial with everyone in one's course of time. Then we stay affable and this also succors the Japanese people to endure longer. Four gather for the rational. Cooperation is a person's birth name. A person's existence build out and viability are all contingent on cooperation. Famishment acts as the indispensability of a life of a person. For their contentment contentment they reach out to different people, which has become a postulate. Correspondingly, they mean many other things which require others' cooperation. Consequently, the Japanese affirm a co- cooperative life system and cohabitation. Welfare works. Cooperation acts a prerequisite for a person. A person's existence, build out, and viability are all contingents of cooperation. Famishment acts as the indispensability of a person for their contentment. They reach out to different people which has become a postulate correspondingly. They need many other things which require others' cooperation. Consequently, the Japanese affirm a cooperative life system and cohabitation. Our lifestyle is in intimately linked with our welfare works. This keeps us gleeful and endures longer. Fourth thing to unite in hostility. Certainly, life perpetuates and time is capricious. Therefore, we should always stay level headed. We should contemplate and face life's adverse times with a forbearance. We believe in facing the adverse conditions of life in a united manner. This is our non parallel and pivotal location, location adapted from the concept of Ikigai. Fifth thing, to help each other. Our intent of life is to boost up others corporally, intellectually and in all ways possible. It is observed that those people who boost up others elevate tension in one's mind. They discern mental peace and contentment. They feel, sp- they feel spirituality attached to them and their life is satisfactory. While those people who are accused in picking of wits and juxtaposition are always frazzled, the Japanese are always ready to help others on their part. This creates a euphoric and dynamic environment. It might be the secret of a long life. Accumulate monthly endowment, helping one another is a very good quality. We can't say enough about the positive aspects of kindness. We all try to become such a person whom people remember in their time of need. The Japanese organize community feasts, games and other activities by collecting community donations. It brings a quality of prosperity to our life. Alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. And seventh important thing, life at peace. 
in modern times it is almost out of the question to have a life without density every day it has its own obstacles whether one is poor middle class rich or super wealthy everyone is troubled in some way or another and tensions make one's body hollow the way people take a call of their problems create tension stress is now an inextricable part of one's life we remove our stress by sharing within our community when you don't have any stress life expand tensity will increase this is the rule of ikigai the first chapter we completed well thank you for navya karnor